G'day, this is Glenn Morrow from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre. In this short tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the Reader View in Safari. So the purpose of the Reader View is where you have a web page like this, and this is one of the news articles from the website appletalk.com.au. You can go into the article like this, and basically the article, as most articles are, is predominantly text. So what you can do is use the Reader icon, which is up here in the top left-hand corner of the screen, to make that text much larger and easier to see. And the nice thing about that is that then it just make, keeps all the text within the boundaries of the window and it strips out advertisements and other things that exist uh, and can be sometimes visually quite distracting. To change the properties of the text, you can tap on the A's in the top right-hand corner here, and in this dialog box, you can use the smaller A to make the text smaller and the bigger A to make the text larger. You can also change the colors as well. And you can also change the font or typeface to make the text a bit easier to read. Once you've finished making adjustments, you just tap outside the dialog box. The nice thing about making those adjust adjustments is that Safari rem remembers them. So every time you go into read a view on a future web page article, uh, it will apply these same settings. Now, a new feature in iOS 11 is that you can actually make a Safari remember these settings for future web pages. So what we'll do is we'll tap and hold on the reader icon and it brings up this dialog box. So you've got two options here. Uh, you can use this on appletalk.com.au. So basically every time you go into Apple Talk and go into an article, it will apply the reader view automatically, or you can use it on all websites where the reader view is available in web articles. So you can choose either of those options. We will choose cancel, but you do have those options available to you. So that can make things a little bit easier. Uh, and uh, and makes the reader view uh, really worthwhile. So the reader view is a fantastic function. It's available in iOS 